Hey guys, do you know what I hate more than sexual harassment? Sexual harassment committed by a really old creepy man. No, this isn't about Bill Cosby. However, I would love to do a video about him, but he isn't trending. Maybe if he re-offends, I could get quite a few views, I suppose. Well, fingers crossed. This is about the other creepy man called Bill. No, not Bill Clinton. Bill O'Reilly. Jesus, sexual harassment is rampant in the population of Bills. It doesn't look good for the rest of them. Don't do it, Bill. Don't do it, Bill. Don't do it, Bill. For those of you who don't know, Bill O'Reilly hosted a show called The O'Reilly Factor on Fox. However, although I really dislike Fox, I... No, that's it. I dislike The O'Reilly Factor too. Bill did an interview with Newsmax Media. And honestly, this is the first time that I've heard Newsmax. So all I know about them are the following. Number one, they have a sick name. I mean, Newsmax. Often when I'm reading the BBC, The Guardian, or The New York Times... You are fake news. I think to myself, this really isn't Max enough for me. And number two, when you Google Newsmax, the people also search for tab is the following. So, yeah. And hello, we are joined today by the longtime king of cable news, Bill... Wow, is this how every Fox News anchor looks without makeup? Soulless and lifeless. I mean, I did assume that working at Fox would do that to you, but not to this extent. O'Reilly, Bill recently left Fox News. Yeah, Bill left Fox just like JFK retired from politics. Apart from the fact that Bill wasn't killed, rather his career was. And for those of you who don't know, Bill settled to pay more than $13 million over sexual harassment claims. Which, the last time I checked, isn't something that innocent, rich millionaires with amazing lawyers tend to do. Sadly, the pesky left-wingers with moral compasses pressured his sponsors to dump him. Which they did. After trying everything they possibly could, Fox was forced to fire him. But is still very active. Yep, Bill is still active. An active sex offender, that is. In fact, if you're a woman, I really wouldn't recommend these places in Long Island after 8 p.m. With his new best-selling books, Legends and Lies, The Civil War, he has a new book coming out in September. I know it will be a bestseller. I don't know your name, but would you mind removing your tongue from Bill's ass for two seconds? That'd be great. Now, Bill, I want to let you know, we conducted an online and TV poll here at Newsmax TV not too long ago, reached more than 200,000 people, and our audience wants you back on TV. More than 90% said they want you back right away. Interesting survey, 33% of the American population doesn't believe in evolution. There are people that believe that the Earth is flat, that God created the world in seven days, that Obama did 9-11. And over 26% of the American population genuinely believe that this guy would make a good president. I'm sorry, but I really failed to see your point, my dude. I could easily find a group of people that think that keeping up with the Hitlers would have made an awesome show. Heck, I would have even watched that. Does that mean it should have happened? No. The kind of people that believe that Bill O'Reilly deserves another show probably only watch Game of Thrones for the incest scenes. Yup, there's no way this video is going to be advertiser friendly. Um, I may come back to television. Um, it just depends. Yep. Depends on whether the broadcasting studio is at least 500 meters from a school. We're living in a pretty vicious age. Yes, I'm sure all the victims of your sexual harassment are fully aware of that. For the next couple of minutes of footage, I'm going to play a little game. I have to guess the missing words. Now, uh, whoever I work for is going to have to have a lot of... First one. Okay. A uh, lot of lawyers. Mm, okay, no. Male staff members that I can't harass? No, that's not it. Uh, courage. Courage, okay. Courage is a good word. Uh, to stop the... Uh, okay, next one. Sexual harassment on my behalf? No? Okay. Uh, far left from attacking sponsors and spreading lies about people. It's just really nasty. The truth can be nasty. I find it honestly appalling that people can invade his safe space like this with facts. Disgusting. So I may come back to television or I may continue on uh, the net. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I'm flattered and surprised that your uh, audience wants me back. Uh, I think that Americans should be able to uh, hold differing views and debate them and, and have fun at the same time. We tried to bring that to the O'Reilly factor. We succeeded in doing so. We'll, not a hateful uh, operation. He does have a point. Both extremes are guilty of this, and the O'Reilly Factor did host a lot of debates with people of differing opinions. 
Were they necessarily fair? Not really. But there's exactly the same problem with left-wing media as well. But the haters got us. We're going to spotlight the haters and we're going to go after them. You were talking so rationally. It was going so well. But in a split second, it goes from rational to Gestapo. The word Lugan Press brings to mind. And, and you know, you've seen all these reports in the New York Times and the Washington Post, all citing anonymous sources. Why do you think it is that they are so obsessed with trying to take Donald Trump out? Because he's a fucking moron. The Trump administration is essentially the special ed kids at school that were allowed their very own talent show. It's a personal... Very much like you, Bill. He's been accused multiple times of sexual harassment. Thing, they don't think he's worthy of the office. Is he worthy of the Oval Office? No, I don't believe so. You wouldn't give a teacher a scalpel and give them the chance to perform heart surgery. So why would one of the most important positions in the world be held to such low standards? They don't think that he's, uh, obviously he's not in tune with their belief system. One thing you're missing, Donald has no belief system. He tells people only what they want to hear. One day he believes abortion should be absolutely legal. The next he believes that a woman should be punished for having one. He's a Democrat one day, a Republican the next. And then he leaked stuff himself to the New York Times. We'll get to that in a moment. That I was really astounded by that. Right. He made some mistakes, uh, the president did. Number one, he met with Comey alone. Never. A president can't do that. Can't be alone with anybody. Remember earlier when you were asking why the media hated Trump so much? You give him one of the first and best reasons. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I think if we learned anything today, it's that Donald Trump from time to time is going to act uh, not presidential per se, what we're used to a president acting like. This guy, oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. Some of Trump's friends are encouraging him to stop and throttling back on his tweets. He did not tweet. Uh, during the James Comey hearing. Do you think that the, the president should stop tweeting? Yes. For the love of God, Trump should absolutely stop tweeting. When you have a man as unintelligent as Trump, you don't want to give them the possibility to spout their stupidity, sharing it with millions of people. It's just not a good idea. The problem with President Trump is that he doesn't base his tweets, many of them, on facts. And, and he's the president. He can give an opinion, and it's okay but if his opinion is based on false information, he's going to look bad and he gives his enemies ammunition. You know, the mayor of London thing is the best example. The mayor yeah. of London was warning people in his city about the increased police presence. And he was saying, you know, don't worry about it um, because it's not out of control. Trump took that a different way, tweeted out and then gave his enemies all of this stuff. And that's the problem with it. If, he's, if you're the president, you're going to tweet. you got to make sure that your tweets are fact-based. And here we have the second good reason for why the left hates Trump. He doesn't base anything he says on facts. That's more than just a small problem, seeing as he holds quite an important position, you would think. He is the definition of fake news. Yeah, and there were some issues with the tweets he sent out about Qatar, too, which you know, caused some head scratching. And so maybe he just needs somebody who can take a quick look at him before he actually hits the send yeah. button. He needs, everybody needs an editor. Exactly. He needs one on that is true. Everybody, everybody needs, needs an editor. editor. So you're essentially saying that a man in charge of the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons in the world can't be trusted to tweet without assistance. Um, because we knew it was bogus. We knew the whole thing was garbage. And if everyone knew it was bogus, why did you pay over $13 million? There's a lot of money to be made by people like MSNBC uh, because they hate Trump. So it's hate Trump 24-7. There are enough people who do hate him that they'll watch us and we can make a lot of money. That's what's going on. And on the converse is true as well. There was an Obama, hate Obama industry, a hate Hillary Clinton industry, but it was nothing like the Trump situation. Because whether you like them or not, Obama and Hillary are competent politicians. Well, you seem resilient. Like bacteria. And ready to bounce back. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked this, please leave a like and a comment. If you didn't, dislike it if you want. And subscribe if you really liked it. That would be, that would be amazing. Thanks.